Hello and welcome to the Riot Times TV News at 1.30. I'm Rahman Haider. And the news is not so good. The dreaded impending GST is already taking its toll on the Riot. House buyers in 2015 can expect prices to go up by an alleged 1-2%. to Well, according to Deputy Finance Minister Ahmad Maslan, the increase is because of the goods and services tax, which will hit the building supply material suppliers. But earlier, the Urban Wellbeing, Housing and Local Government Minister Abdul Rahma, Abdul Rahma Dahlan had said that the hike will be 3%. But all this is confusing to the average potential buyer. Let's think about it. If GST is going to be rated at 6%, then even a 3% increase would be a very, very conservative estimate. Anti-GST proponents have said that the inflation will soar and hit everyone hard. Housing speculators will have a field day. You can buy a house today. In a short while, you make a quick profit. But Ahmad Maslan says that the housing prices is expected to be capped by the hike in the real property tax from 15 to 30 percent. While real property gains tax affects only speculators and not first-time buyers, the increase will put a damper on many. That 1 percent may be the 1 percent that stops the young buyer from putting down his or her initial 10 percent. And while the Deputy Minister says that the hike will be temporary, we all know that what goes up hardly comes down. Moving on and talking about going down, the same deputy minister says that the price of RON95 petrol may be reduced if crude oil prices go down to between US70 and to US75 per barrel. The price of crude oil is now US7941 per barrel. We at Riot Times want to know this. Why this threshold has been set at 70 to 75 US dollars per barrel? The rest of the world has already lowered the pump price of RON95. Not us. We are an oil producing nation, a form known as sweet crude, a high grade fuel. Food, or as Karina Flinch would say, fuel for thought. And that was the 130 News on Riot Times TV. See you soon.